Rush set niya. And I'm Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another I tried following Blanc's makeup tutorial. And today, I'm gonna try to follow Miss Aunt Luz. Kasi, ten da 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 O diba, meron akong sound effects. Ako yung gumagawa ng sound effects ko. Kasi sobrang excited ko guys. Meron ako ng brush set ni Miss Anne. And nalabhan ko na siya yesterday. Pero today is going to be my first time to use them. So, review slash first impression slash demo na to today. So, super excited to try them out. As in, sobrang excited ko talaga. Kasi alam niyo naman guys, sobrang excited idol ko si Miss Ann Clutes. I know guys, sobrang dami na nag-review sa brush set to sa YouTube but I ask you guys on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram if you guys still want to hear my thoughts on this set. And a lot of you said yes. So, here I am. I'm gonna review it for you. This is how the bag looks like. It says here, Blend Now, Aura Later. And merong name dito ni Miss Ann Clutes. And naka-zipper lang siya. And then when you open it, andito na lahat yung brushes niya. For your face makeup, you get five brushes. This is number six, Contour Brush. Number four, blush brush. Number seven, flat angled kabuki brush. Number five, powder brush. Number three, fan brush. Five brushes for eye makeup. Number ten, small angled brush. Number one, small eyeshadow blender. Number nine, concealer brush. Number two, big blending brush. This is number eight, eyeshadow shader brush. When I got the brushes, guys, meron siyang plastic isa-isa. And then for the powder brush, meron siyang ganito. I think you call this a brush guard. Meron akong brush guard before, pero natatapon ko talaga sila. Hindi ko alam. So for sure, after kong gamitin ito ngayon, hindi ko alam kung makikip ko pa to kasi feeling ko mawawala ko siya. And if you have it, please keep it if you want to protect your brush from yung nagtitikwas yung buhok sa gilid. Kasi ito magpaprotect talaga siya sa brush eh. Kailangan ko pa bang sabihin sa inyo kung gaano ko kalab itong colors na to? Kasi if you have been watching me for quite some time now. Alam niyo talaga na love na love ko yung white, rose gold, and marble. So alam niyo na yung sagot kung love ko ba tong colors na to. By the way guys, before I proceed and do my makeup, gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo na I did not get this for free. I bought it with my own money. Pero sobrang na-appreciate ko si Miss Ann Clutes kasi I'm just a small-time YouTuber and for her to send me a message na Mimi, meron na naka-reserve for you pero paano ko ipapadala? Sabi ko, wag na kasi yung brush set, diba, 500 pesos pero I think yung shipping mahal eh, like FedEx, DHL. Sobrang mahal, sabi ko, wag na lang. Pero nung nalaman ko na meron reseller dito sa US, as in, sabi ko, nag-go agad ako, nagpa-reserve ako and then medyo magkaiba yung price natin. Hindi siya medyo magkaiba talaga yung price natin. Sa Philippines, again, 500 yung brush set. But dito, guys, I paid $30. So, if you convert that to Philippine money, that's 1,500 pesos. And I understand, kasi of course, with shipping and handling, ganun talaga. Parang baliktad lang tayo, kasi every time you order makeup here, pagdating dyan, expensive na, shipping, handling, and all that. So, yun, kami naman yung nag-order sa Philippines, kaya siya expensive. Uh, I think yung brush set is $23, tapos $7 yung shipping cost. So, ganun, umabot siya ng $30. And if you wanna check her out, yung reseller, I'm gonna put her link on the description box below below yung Instagram and YouTube niya kasi meron din siyang YouTube. So maraming salamat Coco and medyo expensive siya to be honest kasi especially now na sobrang dami ng mura na brushes sa Amazon or sa BH Cosmetics yung mga ganun. Pero kung fan na fan ka talaga ni Miss Ann Clutes, like myself, sobrang fan ako ni Miss Ann Clutes, so kailangan ko talaga siyang bilhin kasi I want her collection here sa collection ko. Ito yung sobrang gusto kong makeup na ginawa ni Miss Ann Clutes, yung Josa Makeup Transformation. So yun yung gagawin natin today. Wow. Gustong gusto ko talaga tong look na to. Hello everyone! Welcome back sa aking channel. Ito yung pinaka-pabulito kong look na ito. Ako ginawa. din. As gusto gusto ko yan. So, as you can see. Okay, so i-transform na natin tong face na ito. I will be using yung picture Ariel's Secret Concealer. Wala ko niyan guys. Ito na yung gagamitin ko ha. Makeup Revolution and Conceal and Define. And then, and at the same time, para mas mag-pop yung color na ilalagay natin. Pink sugar eyeshadow. Wait lang, Miss Anne. So, bablend ko lang siya, guys. Plain. Yung cafe latte. So, cafe kung tayo mo sa may taupe muna, ilalagay ko siya. Taupe brown. And ito nila yung gagamitin ko na palette, guys, ha? Kasi struggle is real. So, hanapin ko na lang dito yung mga colors na yan. So, I think this is taupe brown. Now, picking up this color, ito yung gagamitin ko. Yung big um, blending brush ni Miss Anne. 
Alam niyo, gusto ko tong eyeshadow na to kasi although powdery siya, maganda yung color payoff niya when you apply it sa skin. Medyo malaki talaga tong brush na to guys. Ako okay lang kasi malaki yung lid space ko. Pero kung maliit yung lid space niyo, parang yung color aabot talaga sa kilay niyo. So if you cannot use this as a blending brush, you can use this yung panglagay ng highlighter. Kasi maganda din to panglagay ng highlighter. Pero para sa akin, gusto ko tong mga ganito na big blending brush. Kasi alam niyo naman guys, ito yung favorite ko, di ba? Yung E40 from Sigma. Malaki siya, but this one is bigger, pero okay lang kasi nakakasya naman siya sa lid. Ayan, so next color is itong brown. Uh, yung darkest actually dun sa may palette. Ito yung gagamitin ko and may kodigo ako dito kasi hindi ko memorize. It's number one small eyeshadow blender. And then I'll put it here sa, saan yun nilagay? Palette and then nilalagyan natin siya dun sa outer V. Outer V. So parang ano tayo, gagawa tayo ng halo effect. And then, linisin lang natin yung outer edges para walang harsh lines dyan. Medyo mahirap itong brush na ito kung gamitin nyo dito sa inner part, yung mag-halo kayo. Kasi malaki siya, like mataba siya. Bronze na shade. So yung okay, for the bronze shade guys, ito yung gagamitin ko, yung eyeshadow shader niya. Kasi kamay yung ginamit niya and gusto kong itry ito. So I'm just gonna wet it with the MAC Fix Plus. But before na lang, before ko siya i-wetting na natin kung makuha ba niya yung pigment. Hindi ko sure kung tama ba tong pagka-bronze color na to sa bronze na ginamit ni Miss Anne ha. So, okay lang yun. Pasensya na kasi wala talaga akong palit na ganyan. Kahit hindi siya binasa, nakukuha pa rin yung pigment. But I'm still gonna wet this brush para mas intense yung bronze niya. Natin to kasi pwede and then yung lightest dun sa palette. Okay, yung lightest sa palette. Hindi ko sure kung paraho yung color nito. So, i-try natin. Wala na akong brush magamit dito guys for inner corner highlights. So, ito na yung gagamitin ko ha, yung fingers ko. Play natin. Mas awake and mas brighter yung ating eyes. Eye candy all day liner. Ito yung gagamitin ko guys. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Perversion. Kasi wala ako niyan. I think first time ko in forever. Matagal na ako hindi nagta-tight line dun sa my waterline. So baba ang ganda ng effect niya. Ito yung mga gagaya ko dyan. Hindi ko sure maralagay na si Miss Anne ang eyeshadow sa baba. Or baka kanina pa yun. Tapos hindi ko napansin. Diyos ko Lord, not following instructions. Thank God, makikilay na tayo mga best. Kasi parang ang pangit talaga tingnan na mukha ko ngayon no, na may eye makeup na tapos walang kilay. Kasi normally, what I do is that inuuna ko yung kilay ko and then eye makeup. Pero iba yung kay Miss Anne kasi na style. So ginagaya ko lang talaga siya. Kasi nga, I tried following Anne Clothes Makeup Tutorial. So ito na lang yung gagamitan ko. Kasi itong brush niya guys, na flat angled brush. Wala siyang spoolie. This is from Marino or Marinod. Um, I got this from Watson. Sobrang tagal na nito guys. Three years na yata to sa akin. And buhay buhay na buhay pa siya. Yun talaga yung parang masasuggest ko lang na sana next time meron siyang spoolie kasi para hindi ka na magdadala ng ibang brush. I will be using itong Honey I'm Good Eyebrow Kit. Bago-bago siya. So, ito na lang yung gagamitan ko guys. This is from BYS. It's the BYS Brow Definition Kit kasi wala ako niyan. And then... Wax yung ginamit niya first, no? Wax Sorry, yata yan. <laughs> hindi ko ito ginagamit itong wax na to Pero nagamit siya na wax. Ito, ano lang talaga siya, wax na white. So, ilalagay ko na lang talaga siya sa kilay ko. Um, if you ask me kung ano yung mas gusto ko, mas gusto ko sana yung medyo manipis. Kasi, especially when I do the inner part of my brows, mas okay kasi, mas manipis yung line. And then, mas makaka-create ako ng hair-like strokes kung manipis yung tip. Okay naman siya, nagagawan siya ng paraan. Pero again, kung hindi ka sanay sa medyo mataba na ganito na brush for your kilay, then maninibago ka. For the foundation, itong Arlil Secret Foundation. To apply my foundation, ito yung gagamitin ko. It's called the number 7, Flat Angled Kabuki. Wala ako ng foundation na yan, so I'm gonna use my own foundation here. This is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Fiji. Ibimix ko lang dito sa L'Oreal True Match Lumi ko. Kasi hindi ko alam, every time I use any foundation now, minimixan ko siya nitong Lumi. Kasi maganda yung effect sa dry skin ko. So, ano to? Full color foundation It's actually blending my foundation pretty nicely. Pag iganin mo, of course, you will see brush strokes. But if you do the circular motion, like this, nawawala agad yung brush strokes. So do the circular motion whenever you use this brush. Kasi hindi siya ganun ka-dense. 
and it's very very soft so hindi siya masakit sa face so next is pink sugar or little secret concealer so for concealer i'm going to use my color pop concealer in the shade nakalimutan ko i'm going to put it on the description box below so wait lang guys ha so this is her concealer brush ito yung gagamitin ko pang lagay ng concealer to be honest guys, hindi ko ito magagamit talaga as concealer brush. Gagamitin ko ito guys pang linis ng kilay. Mga dark under eye circles, maglalagay na rin ako sa nose bridge. Nose and bridge. Sa baba. And then sa, sa baba. Ewan ko anong simbolo eh. Hindi ko mag-get. Okay, so, maglalagay tayo ng simbolo. Okay. Let's blend out natin siya using a damp spot. And then, sa ilalim ng kilay, ayan, minsan ko lang itong gawin. And actually, nagustuhan ang ganda-ganda ng eyes nila. So, ayan. Hindi pinakita guys na na-powder siya sa video but I'm gonna powder my face because we're reviewing her brush. Etong brush na to, sobrang excited talaga akong gamitin kasi I love the shape and it's super duper fluffy. So I'm just gonna use this powder from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Press Powder in the shade Warm Light. And then I'll just of course powder my whole face. Medyo mahirap lang siya ay ganun sa eyes o pero sa buong mukha sobrang okay niya. And it's super duper fluffy. I really really like this brush. Ito siguro yung pinaka-favorite kong brush na na-try ko ngayon. Ganito yung ginagamit ko for bronzer, like bronzer and contour at the same time. And if I compare it dito sa brush ni Miss Anne, mas mataba talaga to. Pero I think okay naman siya kasi paraho sila na-angled. Ito yan, very helpful sa akin kasi lahat pang kilay, pang eyeshadow, pang contour. So usual na contour ko, um, naglalagay ako sa my jo. Sa blush, Pink Sugar HDG Color in Paris Lights. For blush, I'm gonna use this Burt's Bees in Shy Pink kasi pink yung color ng blush ni Miss Anne. Bronzy yung look natin. So, so yun siya. And then, Sin City. Ito yung um, highlighter na ganyan. Itong mga ganito talaga yung sobrang favorite ko na blush brush kasi kahit idiin ko siya ng bongga, hindi niya namumove yung foundation and powder ko or yung base ko kasi nga sobrang gumagalaw yung bristles niya. But this one, medyo densely packed yung bristles. Kaya be careful para hindi ma-move yung base mo. Um, Itatap nyo lang dyan yung brush. And then when you blend it, as in light-handed lang talaga. As in light hand. And then Sin City. Ito yung gagamitin ko guys. The Becca Shimmering Perfector in the shade Opal. Mas bongga ang pag-highlight na ginawa ko dito. Wait. um So bongga yung highlighting natin. And gusto-gusto ko yung bonggang highlighting. Because I have dry skin. And kailangan ko ng maraming highlight sa mukha ko. And I cannot wait to use this one kasi alam nyo naman guys, sobrang favorite ko yung fan brush ko na taga 88 pesos. Meron ako ng Morphe pero binabalik-balikan ko pa rin talaga yung taga 88 pesos. And parang pareho siya nito na sobrang nipis lang and sobrang soft. So I'm gonna put it on my cheek and everywhere. Oh, I love this. And then for my lips, itong Honey Bunny Sugar Tint. Malapit na tayo matapos guys. Lipstick na lang. And then, meron ako ng Honey Bunny from Pink Sugar. And this is how it looks like. I really, really like this one a lot. Hindi ko lang siya nagamit pa sa cheeks. Kasi sabi dito, kasi sabi dito lip and cheek tint. Pero hindi ko pa siya nagamit as cheek tint. Or blush. Ito sa lips lang talaga. tutorial guys. And I hope nagustuhan nyo to. I know hindi talaga kopyang-kopya kasi hindi naman pareho yung ginamit namin. But I tried my best. I hope nagustuhan nyo pa rin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you my overall thoughts on this brush set. And to be honest, for 500 pesos, sobrang okay talaga. Sobrang worth it. You get 10 brushes. And especially kung baguhan ka pa lang sa pag may makeup, you will really enjoy this set a lot. Um, ito lang yung masasuggest ko. Itong parang angled brush for the kilay. Um, masasuggest ko sana nalagyan nila ng spoolie next time. Kung magka-create pa siya ng ibang brush line, yun lang. Lagyan siya ng spoolie and then siguro mas nipis ng konti para mas mamimik natin yung brow hairs. 
And then yung concealer brush naman, hindi ko talaga siya magagamit na pang blend ng concealer. Magagamit ko siya pang linis lang ng kilay. Eto namang small eyeshadow blender, I really wish na ganito siya kaliit. I don't know if you guys can see it, pero ganito yung gusto ko kasi paglagay ko dito sa outer part. And hindi siya ganun ka-dense para mas nabiblend ko siya. Eto magagamit ko pa din paglagay lang ng color and then I will blend it with this brush. So yun lang yung masasuggest ko sana mas maliit ng konti para mas maganda yung placement dyan sa ilalim. Surprisingly, nagustuhan ko tong brush na to guys ha. And if you have small lid, as what I said earlier, medyo mahirapan kayo nito kasi uh, lalagpas siya sa kilay nyo. Ako kasi malapad yung dito ko, so kaya naman siya. And maganda yung pag-blend niya sa eyeshadows ko. Pareho lang dito sa favorite ko na brush from Sigma, which is the E40 brush. Yung face brushes naman guys, sobrang nagustuhan ko sila kasi they're not scratchy. They're very, very soft. And yung favorite ko, as in favorite ko talaga, itong powder brush. I love it so much. I'm gonna use this for my brush. Bronzer. I'm gonna use this for my powder. I really, really love this. And I love the fan brush too. As in, sobrang love ko to. Ito, hindi lang siguro ako sanay talaga, pero I can still make this work. Yung contour kasi, so light-handed lang kasi full pack yung bristles niya. And yung blush brush din, ganun siya, full pack. Pero pag light-handed ka, again, parati ko na sinasabi yan, pero again, I'll keep saying it, pag light-handed ka, hindi naman namumove yung foundation or powder mo in place. Pero overall, guys, as in overall, for 500 pesos, Sobrang worth it ng brush set na to. If you are from the States naman and medyo namamahalan kayo sa $30, kasi to be honest, medyo expensive siya na $30. Uh, merong ibang option, like go to Amazon, merong maraming brushes doon na mura lang. And then meron ding um, BH Cosmetics, mura lang din. But if you're really a fan of Miss Anne Clutes, then okay lang talaga sa akin. Like ako, fan na fan, so okay lang magbayad ng $30. So it's up to you. So that is it guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye!